So I found this to be interesting. I haven't watched it yet, but Don Jr. sits down with Cash Patel for a show called Triggered on Rumble. You can't see that, but it's it's Rumble, probably a Rumble exclusive, lucky them. And he's a, apparently going to complain about the fact that people know that he is a big fan of Coca-Cola. He really likes caffeine a lot. And I'm I'm going to avoid saying the particular drug that I mean, but you all are probably picking up what I'm putting down, right? Caffeine is the drug that I think that he's on, that he's addicted to, that he snorts. Yes, the coffee grains. Um, so we've got to watch this. So the, the headline here, I'll just kind of like show you. Don Jr. is on Coke. Trump's, uh, God, Ross Story has so many ads. You can barely even like visit their website. It's almost un, like incapable of functioning. Anyways, Trump Jr. is on Coke. Trump's son says people mistake impassioned speech for drug habit. Don, come on. I just, it's shocking to me that he thinks he's subtle. Shocking, but regardless, let's let's see what he has to say. I haven't pre-watched this yet, so I don't know if he says anything yikesy, probably, but, but let's but, listen. But, but half of this country still believes Donald Trump's a Russian asset, and we yeah. have to work They're still running with it, like, still as though it's fact. Like, and yet, when you have, you know, you, you talked about me, like, I, I get it. I've been blessed yeah. beyond a belief in this country. Now, I got thrown into politics in my late 30s, and all of a sudden, it's like, hey, I just actually believe this stuff. I, I will more than happily... <laughs> But Hunter Biden can take a billion from China, work for Ukraine oligarchs, you know, work for Russian oligarchs, money launderer, be paid in diamonds off the books, not declare anything in taxes, drop guns in dumpsters across from high schools. And it's like, he's an upstanding human being. Then I give an impassioned speech and they're like, oh, Don Jr.'s on coke. You're, you're, you know, and I, and I borrow your name and I, and I, and I don't. Don, shut the f*** up. <laughs> You are so obvious. You are so obvious. Let, let me find the video that I did recently of him. Um, I don't know if you all remember it, but he, with a straight face, is trying to say that he is not on Coca-Cola. So let me see. Humanist report from Junior. Because this video, like this, there's a couple. So I've done two videos with Trump Jr. where his behavior was, <laughs> my, my title's making me laugh. Trump Jr. goes on bizarre caffeine-fueled rant. That's a good title, Mike. Um, Rumble signs seven-figure deal with Trump Jr. for his caffeine-filled rants. And then I just... <laughs> my, look, sometimes my thumbnails are bangers. This one... Not to, not to bring up Dave Rubin, but that's a, that's a banger thumbnail. I'm pretty sure that I stole that picture from Progressive Voice. Either way, um, this is the last one. We, we've got to check this out, okay? Because... I'll let you all be the judge. This man is seriously saying that he um, he's not on caffeine. Where's the video? Okay. Go ahead. Take it away. Giving them back to investors and all of that Look other stuff. Look at his stuff. hands. But this is a person who was wrapped up in that scandal. She ran a fund that was involved in it. A close colleague of crypto king Sam Bankman Fried, Ellison is now pleading guilty, saying she knew what they did was illegal. So she knew <laughs> legal, but the Washington Post is still trying to make her into a victim. Okay, I mean, think about that. The Washington Post, owned by Jeff. The Washington Post, mother. You. <laughs> You're calling this impassioned speech? You're that passionate about fucking Sam Brink <laughs> Big Ben Freed? <laughs> what do you all think? Is this impassioned speech or lots of caffeine? Yeah, his eyes give it away. Right? He honestly thinks that we're stupid, though. He thinks he thinks that we're just we're so naive. It, this is he's just passionate. I can't. I can't. I on it. Like I'm shocked that he's honestly trying to say that he's not addicted to coca-cola jeff bezos okay so it's the amazon washington post other notable <laughs> headlines from the washington post. <laughs> watch the inhale okay
because he's talking so fast heart is beating so fast he could barely catch his breath so like after speaking for like five minutes straight without taking a breath look at that huge ass fucking inhale <laughs> So she knew no. what they did was illegal, <laughs> but the Washington... This <laughs> voice gets like fucking eight octaves higher. <laughs> Post is Post. still trying to make Post. her into a victim. Okay, I mean, think about that. The Washington Post, owned by Jeff Bezos. Okay, so it's the Amazon Washington Post. Unnotable <gasps> headlines from the... God, that's, that's right there. <laughs> Anyways, the Washington Post, like, holy shit. Like, if we can if we can pan down a little bit, you'd see this. Like, his heart is about to literally explode. And he's just passionate. Washington Post in the past. Abu, but my dad took out. It was leading <gasps> Abu. He's an austere religious scholar, not a murderer, rapist, piece of crap. This is the Washington Post. This is another article from the Washington Post. Before the FTX collapse, founder Sam Bankman Fried poured millions into pandemic prevention. He's such a good guy, we should make sure he gets off easy. And guess what, folks? In our system, he probably will. Unlike you, or certainly not me, if we actually did the. Th Unlike the average folk like Trump Jr. Mm hmm. <laughs> things that he did. Most of those initiatives have come to a sudden <laughs> halt. Dick Sun Mouth says, "Motherfucker, doing finger break dancing." <laughs> I love that. According to the Washington Post, I wonder why. Why? Because it seems as though he defrauded billions from people and poured them into leftist causes, and they're shocked. They want to put it back in there. Because guess what, folks? The legacy media, they took their money to write headlines for them, in my opinion, right? And by golly, they're going to write them. Whether they deserve them or not, whether it's current or not, they paid for those headlines. <laughs> <laughs> they paid for those headlines. Trump. Trump. Let me get really close to the camera. Assuming he's going to watch this. Are you fucking seriously saying with a straight fucking face that you don't have a coke problem? Are you seriously saying that? Veins bulging out of your fucking head, heart racing, talking so fast like you're not even breathing. Are you honestly trying to tell me that we're wrong to say you have a coke problem? One more video. And trust me, I've done enough Ooh, We got one hand going 100 miles an hour here. Uh, closed door hearings. I get it. The Supreme Court doesn't have leaks. So if there's not a thorough criminal investigation into who leaked privileged documents about a draft decision from the United States Supreme Court, where a small, small, tiny handful of people have access to it, then we live in a clown show state. We live in a clown show state, folks. For perspective, the FBI sent, I believe it was 15 people to investigate a garage pull. Remember that, the NASCAR Bubba Wallace thing? And thought it was a noose. Well, it's a garage pull. Like, basically on every garage of every NASCAR track that anyone's ever been at. Didn't matter. 15 people. And if they don't send people to investigate this, then again, we live in a clown show state. I mean, look, man, you've got you've to gotta lay off. Yeah, so... Not as bad in that video, but he's clearly ramped up. Like, that to me stood out. But, like, he's progressively gotten worse. And his only deflection is Hunter Biden. Do you remember? So back in, like, 2020, I think, Kyle Kalinske had a tweet go semi-viral where he, like, showed a Sesame Street character snorting caffeine. And Trump Jr. actually saw that and responded. And he's like, huh, well, I'm not Hunter Biden, so I wouldn't do that or some, something like I'm paraphrasing. So he's always been pretty sensitive about this. But like as time goes on, you can tell the problem is getting worse. And he's actually outraged that we would dare say that he's a mistake. He's on coke because, you know, he's just real passionate. I don't care what you're talking about. 0% chance you're that passionate about these dumbass banal issues you speak about. The reason why you behave in that way is because you're, you're just on coke. Just own it.